Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a Wilcoxon signed rank test in SPSS using the uh, related samples option. Click on analyze, then non-parametric test, and then click on related samples. Go to fields, and select the two variables that you want to see, and move it to the test fields. Notice how I first have before, then after. I'll get back to this later. Then go to settings, click on customize test and select the Wilcoxon match pair signed rank. Then click on run and in the output we first see the main result which is a significance of 0.003 so we reject the null hypothesis at a 0.05 significance level. So this means that there are some differences between the two. If you double click on this you will be getting the so-called model viewer. In here you get some more information, for example that the total number of pairs used was 54, the test statistic, and perhaps besides the 0.003, again the significance, also important here, the Z value. This one is negative, and if you look closely underneath the diagram, it shows that it's done after minus before. Remember that my setting was first before then after, but it actually flips this around for the um, for the test itself. That means that a negative here indicates that before was bigger than after, because only then this in total can be negative. So in this uh, result, before was actually uh, higher than uh, after. Now before itself if we go back to the data file was actually coded as 1 till 5 and 5 was fully like so in this case the before was liked more than the after I promised I would get back to this because if we would do the same analysis again and if I go to the related samples and if I swap the two fields so first the uh, after and then the before and I then run the same test and I go back to the model viewer it now has become positive and as you can see it's now done before minus after so now before is indeed bigger because now also the test statistic is indeed positive so by using this new option you can always check here uh, and use the Z value to see which one eventually was actually uh, uh, better or worse.